All right, so this is going to be a quick video to show you how to use dynamic countifs to count the data. Now, what I want you to notice is this is our data set. We have 15 numbers here, and we want to count the numbers that fall between um, the, the, high, the low and the high ends of these bounds. So any number between 0 and 10, in this case just a 7.1, should be counted. So this should become a 1. Now, the countifs formula is obviously what we want to use here. And we capture the data range, lock it in, and now we are going to use the criteria. And this is the most common way that people do this. Um, they'll say anything that's greater than the lower bound, which is zero, and that's in quotation marks. And then you grab the data set again, lock it in, absolute, and uh, anything that is uh, less than or equal to 10, um, we're, so we're going to count anything that's between the 0 and between the 10, and we get our 1, so we've captured our 7.1. Now the problem with this formula is if we drag it down, it's not dynamic. You'd have to go in and you'd have to change this one manually to 30, and you'd have to change this one to 20, and you'd have to do it again for each one, and that is clearly not what we want to do. In Excel, we never want to hard code. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to make this using dynamic referencing using our table here. And the way that we do that is we go in here and edit the formula. So we're going to get rid of the uh, hard-coded number. We're going to use the AND symbol and we're going to take the low and we're going to go back and we're going to get rid of the 10 and use the AND again. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to make our count function dynamic. So we'll get the same one here, but now you can see when we drag it down, um, it actually references from the low and the high end of the bound for each cell. It's a very, very powerful function. Once you are able to make it dynamic, it has a lot of value, and people will think it's pretty great that you can use it. Thanks for checking out the video.